I'm Madam Kong. Today we are going to learn about more concept. Actually, the more concept you have learned before during secondary school, Form 4, Chapter 3. But never mind, let's do some revision. Good morning, everyone. Now we continue our lesson with more concept. Okay, so we have learned about more concept. So this is the diagram showing the conversion of mole between molar mass, molar volume, and number of particles. So you always apply this kind of formula during secondary school. If you want to find mole, you must divide it by molar mass, divide it by number of hour gadro, and divide it by the molar volume, either is STP or room temperature. So this concept is still correct. But now you up level, you have to find the relationship among the mole versus molar mass, mole versus molar volume, and mole versus number of particles. No worry, just follow. Let's check the understanding about one mole. We must always remember, one mole actually is the amount of substance contain equal number of particles, either is in atom, molecule, or ion, as in 12 gram of carbon-12. So for one mole of carbon-12, it has a mass for 12.0 gram. So this one is its molar mass. At the same time, contain 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 atom. So this is number of particles. So this number of particles right there is a name for it. We call it as Avogadro's constant, or the symbol is N A. At the same time, one mole of gas right is equal to 22.4 liter at STP and 24 liter at room temperature. This is molar volume. This one is triple one mole. So we look at two examples. If one mole of sulfur, right, if you go to check the molar mass, is equal to 32 gram. At the same time, it also equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 sulfur atom. Okay. If one mole potassium chloride is equal to 74.6 gram. So this one you can check the molar mass of the uh, the relative atomic mass of potassium and chlorine you get this value so it's also equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 potassium chloride molecule okay and one atom so one times 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 for potassium atom and for chlorine atom as well okay now we go to molar mass molar mass is refer the mass of one mole of an element or compound in gram per mole. So what is relative molar mass or relative atomic mass? Actually the value is the same, just cancel off the unit. Why? Because already compared with carbon 12. Okay, now how to find a number of mole? If for a compound like solid, we using mass over molar mass. For liquid, normally we are using mv per thousand. The weight is in mole. That's why need to divide by thousand. If the volume already in liter, you no need divide by thousand. Eh? Okay. For gas, there are two. Okay, one is STP, another one is room temperature. 
So we are using the volume over the molar volume, depends the condition. If STP, this one. If room temperature, this one. Okay. So, you have to know STP. What is the condition of STP? STP is standard temperature and pressure. So the temperature is refer 0 degrees Celsius or 273.15 Kelvin. And then the pressure is 1 atm. Okay, for room temperature, okay, the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius or 298.15 Kelvin. Always remember the relationship between litre, dm cube and cm cube. 1 litre equal to 1000 ml. Okay, 1 litre also equal to 1000 cm cube. Okay, let's look at the example question 1. A gas X occupy 345.1 cm cube at STP. Calculate the number of gas molecule in the sample of X. Meaning that we need to find the number of gas molecule. Okay, from volume, if you want to find the number of gas molecule, we need to get the number of mole first. So we must compare this volume with molar volume. STP means 24.22.4 dm cube. Then only can proceed for second step to find the number of gas molecule. So step one. Okay. So the relationship is 22.4 dm cube equivalent to one mole of gas X. In this case, this one is in cm cube. That's why we might convert become dm cube first. That's why divided by thousand. And then so 0.3451 dm cube times one mole of gas X divided by 22.4 dm cube. You need cancel cancel so we mean mole gas X. So the answer is 1.5404 times 10 to power of negative two mole gas X. Since this one not the final answer yet, make sure your answer is more than zero places. Huh? Okay, after success find the number of mole. Okay, now we proceed for molecule number of molecule. So every substance in one mole gas or one mole solid or one mole anything equal to this one 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 molecule. Okay, now the mole that you success get from the part one, so you just cross this one times this divided by this. So this times this one, okay, divided by one mole, mole, mole cancel. So the answer is 9.27 times 10 to the power of 21. Don't forget the unit molecule. Check question 2. So there are a few questions that related with mole concept involve molar mass, molar volume, and number of particles. Let's go through one by one. So question number 2a. So calculate the molar mass. The question asks about molar mass. Mass means grammar of a compound if 0.372 mole of this has a mass like this. So meaning that the first general relationship is 0.372 mole equivalent to 152 gram. Okay, and then this question, one molar mass. Molar mass is referred to one mole. That's why one mole stoichiometry, one times 152 over 0.372. Mole, mole cancel off. So you get this answer. Don't forget to make a conclusion. Molar mass of compound equal to 408.60 gram per mole. Now, let's look at question 2. How many molecules of ethane are present in 0.334 gram of ethane? So first of all, we must understand the question. We need to find molecule of ethane. But the number of mole is not given. The mass is given. Meaning that we need to find the mole of 18 in 0.334 gram first. Okay, if we want to apply the stoichiometry method, we must know one mole of 18 equal to how many grams. So this one we need to find the molar mass of 18. The molar mass of 18 equal to 12 times 2 plus 6 equal to 30 gram. One mole of 18 equal to 30 gram. At the same time, 1 mole of 18 equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 molecule. So this is the relationship between mass and number of molecule. So now the question asks about 0.334 gram equivalent to how many molecule of 18. So cross multiply divided by 30. So this 0.334 times number of our gadrol 
divided by 30 gram 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 cancer so the answer is 6.7 times 10 to the power of 21 molecule of 18 remember must take the unit Question C. Question C asks about calculate the number of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen atoms. There are three questions. Uh. In 1.5 gram of glucose, C6H12O6. Actually, this question is exactly the same as question 2B. Okay, first we need to find out the molar mass. Uh, sorry, number of mole of it, uh, glucose. So based on here, right, we know that at 100 gram of glucose equivalent to one mole of glucose. So now the question asks about 1.5 mole. So 1.5 times 1 divided by 180 grams, so you get 8.3333 times 10 to the power of negative 3 mole. Okay, so this is a step one. After you satisfy the number of mole, you must know 1 mole of glucose equivalent to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 molecule of glucose. So in this case, 1.5 gram equivalent to this number of mole, 8 point something. So now the question was asked about carbon. Okay, so for carbon, before we proceed for carbon, you must know what is the number of molecule of glucose first. So again, using stoichiometry, this times this, divide by this, and then you get 0.01667 times 10 to the power of 21 molecule of glucose. So this is the number of molecule of glucose. But the question asks about what? Atom for carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. So you check, there are how many atom of carbon in glucose? Answer is 6. That's why you need to times 6 for this number of molecule. How about hydrogen? Hydrogen 12. That's why you need to 12 times this number of molecule. So in order to get the atom of hydrogen. Same for oxygen. Oxygen you need to times 6. So you get this number of atom for oxygen. So 1, 2, 3. 3 of these are the final answer. So for this kind of question, you must be clear what the question asks about. You have to solve it step by step. First is you must find the mole of glucose based on 1.5 gram first. After that, you must find the number of molecule based on this number of mole. Then only you can find the number of atom for each of the element. This is for carbon, this is for hydrogen, this is for oxygen, based on the number of atom for this molecule for glucose. Clear? For question 2D, how many atoms are there in 5.1 mole of sulfur and 2.1 gram of copper? So for D1, easier because mole is given. So if you want to find an atom, we just times 6.0 times 10 to the power of 23 atoms. So first, we must make the general statement. One mole equivalent to this number of atoms. So 5.1, okay, so stoichiometry, 5.1 times this divided by this so mole s mole s cancel so remain the unit is atom so the answer is 3.0 that then to about 23 atom of sulfur okay for d2 from mass to number of atom so we must find the mole first so we can directly using the general statement mass over molar mass and then you get the number of mole or if using the stoichiometry method is okay 63.6 gram is equivalent to one mole of copper so 3.14 okay actually the step over here is the same but why i keep on insist you are using this method because you will know gram gram cancel off the remaining unit is mole copper so no confuse okay based on the mole that you satisfy in the part one and then you can continue to find the number of particles. So one mole is equivalent to 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 atom. So this number of moles, stoichiometry again, this time Na divided by one mole of copper, and then you get the answer 2.97 times 10 to the power of 22 atom of copper. Clear? Okay, for question 2E, the concepts is exactly the same as 2E. 
you try to go through by yourself, so mole is uh, the okay from mass. What to find the mole is straight away divided by molar mass, or we can using the stoichiometric method as well. And then from number of atoms to find the number of moles, so we just need to divide it by the number of avogadro. Okay, so to find the relationship for one mole is like this. So now is the number of particles given by the question. So this times one mole divided by number of our then you get the answer okay so this is the question inside your lecture notes so try to comp try to read your lecture notes and compare with this video then start again enhance your skill by doing tutorial question so there is another video more concept part 2 it discuss the more question for tutorial 1 2 please stay tuned So that's all for today. Don't forget to follow my IG at Kemicom SL. Subscribe, like and share my YouTube channel Kemicom SL and follow my Facebook Kemicom Shilly. Hope you all learned something. Thank you.